All right, time for today's update. It is looking like a truck again. I went and got the front clip put back on this afternoon and really happy with how everything lined up. We'll walk over here and take a look. And as it turns out, my measurements were dead on the money. Now what's kind of surprising about this is when I built the mounts for the front suspension, the cab and the front clip were sitting 30 miles from where the tr truck frame was. So all I had was the truck frame to work with, the busted two-wheel drive suspension that's sitting outside now, and I didn't even use stock leaf springs, so I couldn't even use any stock geometry because I used 73 to 87 springs. So everything there, as you can see, it looks like that wheel will compress right up into that wheel well really nicely. I'm very happy with that. Uh, maybe wound up about a half to a quarter of an inch back from the stock location, but as it is, it should work fine. I don't even think I'll have to trim my fenders at all, hopefully. Um, really liking the way the truck's sitting now. I'm going to get back here where you can see. Get kind of a full view of the truck there. I think she's looking really good. Uh, one of the things I really want to do over the next couple of days is to get that uh, visor tore off of there. I've always hated that visor. I've just never taken it off. This is a... Uh, while I had this truck, I didn't have the wire feed welder, so I didn't have any way of welding holes up. You can't stick weld those holes, as it'll just burn through. But looking really good now. I'm uh, going to pop the hood here right quick, show you all how the Cummins fits. Now keep in mind, this is the first time this hood has been on the truck in about two and a half years. I didn't have it when I was making any of the measurements for the Cummins. I didn't have anything there. I just had to work off of what I knew, dimensions I could get. And as you can see in here, we've got plenty of room. There's a, about, when you push the radiator forward all the way, there's about a half of an inch at the top there, which this fan isn't going to be run. I'm going to be running a narrower fan. Uh, it's actually going to be a set of twin electrics on here. This radiator is the old radiator out of my 85 Chevy. I'm actually going to run it because it's a little bit taller, going to give me just a little bit extra cooling power. I'm going to modify the core support here a little bit to get some airflow. I'm um, going to build some custom brackets that will pull it up over the top here. And that should keep air flowing through that thing all day long. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I think it's going to work really good and just help keep this puppy cool and it'll hold just a little bit more water. Um, looking through the grill here, this, uh, this grill, this aftermarket grill that's in it here, it's an old one. It's rusted. It's going to have to go. The uh, support there for the hood latch is going to have to be rebuilt so that the intercooler will fit. But outside of that, I don't see any problems getting the intercooler in here. What I'm thinking I'm going to be able to do is put the intercooler into the core support. I'm going to cut it into it. And then I should have enough room left on the front here where I can put in the uh, condenser for the air conditioning. I think everything's going to fit really nice. But as you can see, I don't really know if the light shows it very well. Let's see if I can turn the light on the camera on here. It'll help a little bit. Um, as you can see here, we've got the... Uh, Turbo fits real nice. Everything fits real nice around the Cummins there. The frame's going to get boxed out right there to clear the water neck. That's not going to be an issue. Should have a really nice direct shot down into the water pipe there going into the radiator. I don't know how well you can see that, but everything's looking really good. All that's going to get boxed in, closed up with the vintage air system, so that's going to work really well. Something that's always kind of annoyed me about this truck is a previous owner cut numerous holes in the hood thinking it was going to help it cool better. Well, what it was is just the radiator was going bad. It wasn't that there was anything wrong with the... Uh, that the hood needed to have holes drilled in it to help it cool. So I was a little disappointed about that, but for right now, I'm not sure if I'm going to weld it up or sure if I'm going to leave it because there is the hood scoop on the other side. I'm kind of torn on the hood scoop. We'll see how it goes. Uh, here you can see there's that neck down water neck. Now I'm going to cut that off so that it's not neck down on the inside anymore. I'm going to make it the full diameter there just to make sure we can get plenty of water through it. Uh, I've got a few other modifications I'm going to make. I'm going to make a hard pipe that goes across coming to the radiator instead of uh, the, the flexible hose there so we don't have to worry about anything flexing and getting damaged. Um, that's pretty much it under the hood though. Everything's fitting pretty nice. I still need to get the hydro boost on here. I've got the hydro boost over here on the uh, 93 HD that I'm parting out. So that hydro boost there is going to get cleaned up and it's going to get installed. Going to make sure everything works with it and then once I'm sure that everything's going to work then uh, I'll probably wind up, you know, it just depends how well that one works. If, if it's shaky at all I'm going to take it and get a new one but trucks really starting to come back together now and I guess we're gonna to have to do the one thing that I've been waiting to do for a couple of years we're gonna get this on here is I'm gonna hop in the truck and sit behind the wheel and be able to look out over the hood again and check that out right there that is a 72 Chevy hood I haven't been able to look over that in a long time 
that makes me really happy. That that hood scoop on the hood there, it's it's an interesting looking scoop. You know, I'm not a big fan of hood scoops on trucks. It's already there. I'm probably going to leave it. You know, the trucks can get painted orange. I could paint that flat black again. It'd lock, probably look fairly good. We'll see on that. I'm just not sure. So, But anyhow, that's enough for this update. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my videos. Please rate me. Thank you.